is a person that was once thinking like a leftist, that was on the left, um, maybe you can give us an insight into something. Um, this is very close to my studies because uh, this mindset is the, uh, you know, this is the theme of, of a large part of my life, trying to understand these, these people and this movement. So we, we know what Hamas did on October 7th, uh, just savage barbarity. And we see these university students on campuses. Oh, from the river to the sea, oh, Palestine will be free from the river to the sea. And then they're asked, okay, what river? Oh, I don't know. Okay, what sea? Oh, I don't know. Why are you here? Uh, why are we here again? Um, what is this mindset, Keith? This is this, I'll tell you what it is. It is displaced religion. It is people, if you don't have, um, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to go into any kind of religious rap here, other than to say in a broad sense, if you don't understand that human nature, that, that the religious impulse is intrinsic to human nature, then you're not, you're not a very cl close study of what it means to be a human being. That's a way of saying that we are religious people, whether it is to look into the sky and simply feel astonishment and awe and don't have a theology for it, that's a religious moment. It's a legitimate religious moment. Uh, the presence of spirit and heart at the birth of a child or the passing of a loved one is a religious moment. There are many forms religion can take, and there are two basic categories, healthy or unhealthy. If you do not have a healthy relationship with the religious impulse, it will be displaced, it will be distorted, and mm -hmm. Marxism is a religious doctrine. Mm -hmm. It's and I that's not unique. David Horowitz has been very good on this. The attempt to create a paradise on earth always leads to the guillotine, always leads to the gulag. That the language always is the Cambodian Khmer Rouge, the new man, the first day. They literally set the clocks back to a new day, history begins anew. That is religious language. It is pathological language, and there's no amount of blood that can't be spilled to advance this cause. So this, I watched this, these, this uh, shrieking on the on college campuses on the news. This is, um, this is, it is like the, uh, what we see at Mecca uh, or any other group, uh, communitarian religious expression the, or it is almost like a uh, sports a kind of uh, soccer match that's gone it's this it's the same impulse it's there's a there's a religious aspect of sport and, and generally it's by the way it's fairly healthy the, the that impulse is channeled well most of the time in sport mm -hmm. the religious instinct is so intrinsic jamie that if it's not at the center of your life and it is the center of mine i'm not going to discuss my issues of faith because that's that's just not it's not I'm going to go there, but I'm going to say that it's central to me, yeah. and if it's not central to a person, they will satisfy it some way, and the left does satisfy it. And by the way, you can tell by leftists their disdain, open usually more than disdain toward Christianity, which is mm -hmm. considered the primary religion that is the problem. Well, if you're not worshiping God, if you're not worshiping Jesus Christ. Uh, God implanted an instinct in us to worship him. But if you've blocked that, and that's blocked, you still need to worship somebody or something. Hmm, I wonder why it's blasphemous to criticize Obama and the leftist movement. Hmm.